Okay, now we're in the Arbor Biofuels lab, and I'm going to show you what we're going to use for this next soap test is we have a bottle of bromophenol blue, we have a bottle of hydrochloric acid that's at 0 .01 normality, we have alcohol that's 99% pure isopropyl alcohol, and then we have the pump that we're going to use for the dispenser, and they're right here already hooked up. We have two pipettes set up, both of them are 10 milliliter pipettes. And over here, we have placed already 100 milliliters of al isopropyl alcohol in a beaker. And we're going to turn it on. We're going to get the, I have it on a magnetic stirrer. We're going to get it blending here at just about the right rate. And we're going to add the bromophenol blue. We have a nice little dispenser here. It puts it out a few drops at a time. We like to color it to our own liking. So we just keep adding it to it until we get a nice dark blue. So I'll just keep adding a few drops here. Okay, I like it about that dark right there. That way, when the color turns, there's no doubt about it. Okay, now if you look to your right here, you'll see that we still have that uh, methanol that we just took out of the flush from the ion exchange column. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a sample of that right now We're going to take 10 milliliters. As you can see, I'm using the thumb wheel on the dispenser to bring up exactly 10 milliliters. And right there, as you can see, I have just a little more than 10. So I'll, there it is, exactly 10. So I keep it close to the alcohol, just drop over, and there's a little release handle I just take and push the release handle in and it drops the sample so right now we have the 100 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol uh, the phenyl blue the bromophenyl blue is in there and also um, we've added the 10 milliliters of the last flushing the last the fifth flush we added uh, 10 milliliters of the last flushing um, methanol so now we're going to titrate to see if there's any soap at all that was still coming out of the column so when I do that, I'm taking the acid up, and I shouldn't really need very much. I'm just going to take it up to the two, pull it out, shake off that last little drop there, and now I'll start titrating to see how long it takes it to turn. And as you can see, it's changing right away. I've put only a few drops in. And we're looking at a close-up now of the burette. And it, it took only a few drops to change, so there's virtually no soaps in there. Maybe uh, it took, before we saw a change, maybe it took two-tenths of a milliliter. So we'd multiply that by 300 parts per million, and you'd get your soap content. Stop.